uh, hello guys today in this live stream I will basically talk about uh, a library inside node.js which allows you to edit the PDF document and uh, fill out the form fields inside your PDF document so let's suppose I take an example of this PDF document so this basically contains a form inside the PDF document you will see the name field you can directly edit this here you can put the data right here but we will be looking at how we can do that using this uh, code that we will write inside our node.js there is basically a library which allows you to do this process automatically you don't you no longer need to manually fill out the fields right right here this is basically the template we will use right here this is a form right here and we will fill out the fields dynamically so this works uh, a library is there which is called as PDF library PDF lib this is a library we will use guys it also uses uh, it's a JavaScript PDF library it it can also be used inside a browser using a CDN but we will be using the NPM package of this library so right here just search for the package which is PDF lib and uh, just install this package guys the command is very simple which is npm i pdf dash lib so f it's a very popular library it is able to create pdf documents you can also edit pdf documents as well so this is a command so now let me show you the node.js project so you can see basically we have this template right here inside our folder and this is you can see that no this is a template and now if you want to automatically fill out the fields guys how we can do that it's let me show you so you need to first of all create a index.js file for this purpose just create index.js this will be the starting point of the application and as I already told you first of all you need to install npmi pdf dash lib so install this package I have already installed this package so hardly it will take 5 to 10 seconds so after you have installed this package guys now you need to require this right here at the top so const we need to require pdf document here and this basically comes from this package which is pdf lib from this package so after this guys we also need the two methods the read file and the write file so these two methods will come from the the file system module it basically offers the promises library so we are requiring this package guys fs slash promises so this api provides these two methods in order to read the pdf file and also to save the pdf file with the modified changes so after that guys we will basically write a function which will be a async function which will actually create the pdf it will basically expects the input pdf file and the output file so I'm just making this function right here and after this we will simply call this function create PDF and we will give the file output input file name which is uh, it is present inside our PDF document guy PDF folder you will see that inside our PDF folder we have this form dot PDF file which we are providing right here as the input file and in the output file you can give any file name let's suppose I give result.pdf so now we are calling this function we are providing two arguments here input and output so right here guys what we will do inside this function we need to write the code inside the try catch block so first of all we will get the reference to the PDF document as this is an async function we can use the await keyword and here we will use PDF document and there is basically this load method which is used to load the PDF document and here once again you will use await and this we will use the read file method in order to read a particular file from the input file that we are providing here so this will actually load the file guys and it will store this reference inside the PDF doc variable so now if you console log it so what you will see if you run this uh, by, sorry node.js script node index.js so <clears throat> now it is saying you are missing the catch blocks so just make the catch block as well 
like this so if you now run this application so now guys it will contain information about your PDF document you will see that all such information is there uh, what is the encrypted all this information so instead of printing out this information guys we need to get the number of fields number of form fields so this is actually we want to get how many form fields are there so in this document this is the first form field the name field fam family name address field so in order to get this information in PDF library this basically provides a method we can directly access these fields right here and all the source code guys of this project alongside with the PDF document is given in the description of this live stream so at the end of the uh, video you can go to the description to get all the source code so now we will simply say pdf doc and we will get the reference you can see all such information can be extracted creator name author name number of pages all that we need to get get form and inside the form we need to get the number of fields out there you can see that how many fields are there so basically guys this returns a array and if you now console log it so these field names will be an array here so this returns an array if you run this once again console log pdf field names this returns an uh, array here you can see array of fields are there so now we need to use the map method inside this and for each field here we will simply say we need to uh, get the file name of the field like this you will map it like this so we just need to say uh, field names like this so now if you just console log it guys so basically now it will show the number of fields which are there inside your if you see assignment to constant variable so just change it to let keyword here just change it so now guys you will see it basically returns an array here so you will see given name text box family name text box this is the same information it is returning to you guys this is a given name family this is a text box it is returning in the console house number address postcode country height city so we are getting all the form fields which are present inside the PDF document so now we just need to set dynamic text guys inside this uh, we need to dynamically automatically fill out these fields we need to automate this process so how we can do, do that it's very simple first of all we will get the reference to the form we will say const form PDF doc dot get form and then guys what we will say form dot get text field this is a method guys which will allow you to get access to that text field and then we will simply say field names we will access the zeroth index because this is an array here we will we can access the first index this will access the, the first text field out there this is a name field given name so here we need to write something here dynamically so how we can do that it's very simple there is a method out there which is set text so here we can set dynamic text here the name of the person John Williamson let, let me uh, set here so after this we can save out our PDF file so we can say that PDF bytes so if you are all done await PDF document dot save so if you save the document guys after this you also need to say await write file output file name and we will pass the PDF bytes so now if you run this script guys it will automatically get access to that input field it will put John Williamson and it will save it inside your root directory so what will now happen so now you can see it will create result.pdf if I open this file here so now you can see automatically this has put this text right here John Williamson so this is we are automatically filling out the fields so now if you have a long form if you want to fill out using a node.js script you can use a pdf lib library so now instead of manually doing this you can do it using uh, javascript and node.js so 
we can repeat the same process we can put here fields this will put family name so we can put here Williamson family so in this way guys you can just access particular fields out there this is the address field this is house number address can be anything let's suppose uh, I put here USA and then we have house number which is A19 so again if you refresh guys it will now fill out those fields so you can see that family name which is Williamson family house number USA address to A19 you will see that it's very easy guys you can see how is easy it is postcode city so instead of doing right here guys what we can do as uh, this is uh, I think we can even use a for loop as well let's suppose this is field names is an uh, we can use a for each loop for this so field names is an array here so for each field what we can do we can say uh, form dot get text field and uh, this is a field name we will get set text you can say John so now this will basically it what it will do it will fill out every field we are putting this in a for, for each loop here so it will fill out every field with the name of John so it is saying that expected field country combo box to be of type PDF text field but it is of actually of type PDF drop down okay I think you can't use uh, uh, this for each loop because guys this uh, as you see it also contains combo fields as well so drop down fields as well and check boxes as well so you manually need to do that process because yeah this process is a little bit better because you are manually doing this targeting the field targeting the form fields in which field what value will be entered so yeah so these two fields are also text fields so just you can copy this just change the index number 4 5 so here you will post your postal code and then basically it's a drop down menu so for the drop down menu what you will say here you will not use uh, get text field so you will say get combo or get drop down so here we can set here uh, any let's suppose I said Australia here this is available no Austria is there so let me set Austria so if you now refresh okay it is saying countries combo box you uh, inside this array like structure guys you also get the type of the field which is there this is a text box this is a combo box this is formatted field this is license check box so very easily you can uh, fill out the fields accordingly there are various methods out there that I showed you get 
all these methods are there get drop down get field get signature as well so you can read more about the documentation of this uh, library pdf lib it's a very powerful library which can automate filling out the forms you can take any example let's suppose i take the second example file it's a little bit complicated form you can take any form example this will also get the number of fields which are there i just need to change the let me provide form 2 here so again do the same process so what it will do it will list out the entries which are there you will see it will exactly tell you the form field here so so once again if i target the same here i ju just need to change form 2 here pdf checkbox to me so now it has created that file if you refresh now uh, that file uh, yes this is a file so now you can see this is john williamson it is put put here this is williamson family you can see address usa so in this way guys you can put any thing right here just need to change this so this is it there is also the get check box and here for this we will say get check box so i think uh, pdf checkbox is slightly different and the combo field as well so if you have a combo field and checkbox you can read more about in the documentation how you want to tackle that for text fields it is very simple for text field you just need to call this method get text field and use the set text method it will dynamically put the data right here inside your form forms you can take this data from a api excel sheet and automatically fill out your pdf documents so it's a very good library and i think that you should try it the link is given in the description you can basically try out this project and i will be seeing you in the next video